there lovers and friends. Today's video is about how do you turn someone on? How do you get someone horny beyond the basic biological triggers that get most people's sexual arousal cycle sparking and moving and flowing? What are the things you can specifically do to different kinds of people that get them in the sh mood? And your job today is to figure out what your turn on trigger is. And through doing that, you'll be able to open up dialogues with people that you care about to find out what their turn on triggers is. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, this sounds a lot like Gary Chapman's Safari love languages ding 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 that is exactly what this was inspired by what I love about the five love languages and now the six turn on triggers that I have identified is that it truly takes what the importance of communication is and highlights it so good communication to me is not just about what you want to say and being able to say that it's knowing what you want to accomplish and so your delivery isn't about what you want it's what the other person will receive intent and outcome are not the same things. I can have the absolute best intentions while communicating with you, but if I don't do it in a way that fits you, my outcome could look a lot different than I was expecting. And turn on triggers is a way to eliminate all of that fog. You wanna cut through the noise and get to the heart of what you're looking for, which is a consensual, wet, hot, awesome, intense sexual experience with the person that you care about. So the very best way to figure out what your turn on trigger is, is through a quiz, obviously, because I don't know you and I can't talk to you. But through this quiz, we can get a snapshot of what you might be into. Um, so here's how this is going to work. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, which fun fact, Squarespace is where I created the website, thegameofdesire.com, which is where this quiz is also hosted. While I talk about Squarespace and gush about their amazing work and how it has impacted my job and my creativity, I want you to open up a second tab and type in thegameofdesire.com slash quiz two. Go ahead and complete that quiz. And when we come back to this tab, you're gonna have your results and then we're gonna break them down. With Squarespace, I was able to fully design my website for my book, The Game of Desire. Quizzes, advanced forms, private page, and a mailing list with Squarespace, I was able to execute my vision to a T without killing my pockets. If you want to give them a try, here's how it works. Squarespace has loads of templates that are customizable. You can build a personal blog, a store, an online portfolio. They have all kinds of tools to fulfill your creative and business needs. Okay, so here's the quick lowdown. Go to squarespace.com slash shambooty. You can start poking around and building a site for free. But if you want to launch your site, go back to squarespace.com slash shambooty. And that's how you're going to get 10% off any purchase of a domain or website. From there, Go ahead and open up a store, manage your inventory, do email campaigns all through your account. Long story short, Squarespace is truly the easiest, fastest way to launch your next big idea. Welcome back. I hope you had fun doing that quiz. And now you know just a little bit more about your freaky side. I'm actually going to read out the different results you got in order of popularity, because at this point, 20,000 plus people have completed the quiz on my website and now you are just adding to that lovely, incredible group. So I'm gonna share some insights with you as well as revealing which were the most popular. Let's go. The most popular turn on trigger by far was mental and mental goes by another term which is sapiosexual and those are individuals who get turned on by the brain. Not sexy thoughts per se but hearty conversation when they feel like they can connect with somebody intellectually to share a vulnerable thought, to learn something new, to challenge their ideals. That's what truly fires them up. So they have to be sparked mentally before they can open up for you physically. What's important important to note about the mental is that they aren't the people that you can just go at it with. If they don't feel like the two of you have established a firm mental connection, it's a no-go. Not only that, just because you had a great mental connection two days ago, that doesn't mean two days later they still feel that for you. So if they think that you guys are out of sync, not on the same page, they haven't got a chance to really connect with you, they're not again going to have that same physical response to you. The second most popular result thus far has been desire. And I can speak to this one because it is my turn on trigger to a T. Words are so important to me, direct, 
words of affirmation, direct words of what you want to do to me, how I make you feel, what I look like. When I have established a sexual connection with someone, nothing gets me fired up more than knowing that I am desired by them and hearing about the things that they want to do to me uh, with that desire at the forefront. What does not work for somebody who has desire as a turn on trigger is any kind of minimizing language, even if it's a joke, sarcastic comments made about their appearance, their breath, their smell, um, just their desirability as a whole will have them being in their head for majority of the sexual experience. It may be really hard for them to overcome. So words of affirmation are pretty important. And also they just like to hear it. We're into dirty talk. We're into that straight good. Shit. So give us the goods. Another turn on trigger is environmental. And these are people who are very sensitive to the senses. They wanna be in an environment that celebrates all of their heightened senses in those moments. These individuals may also be very sensitive to vibes, to vibrations. They might be into rocks or crystals or into feng shui. The energy of the room is essentially the third sexual partner or fourth or fifth if you already have two people in there. But the setting is also a part of the sexual play. And if the setting is off, they're just not turned on. The next turn on trigger is the visual. And for these people, when they see see something that they like, they want to put that right in their mouth. There's just like a direct correlation between what they see and what they want. It doesn't take a whole room. It doesn't take any candles. You don't need any kind of special language. You don't have to have any kind of conversation. If you show up looking hot as fuck to them, it's one. Now what's important to note about the visual is that there's a lot of different ways that people might be visually stimulated. A visual person, for example, might have an asphyxiation with a particular body part, a la having a foot fetish or they might really get turned on by the sight of hair or the opposite, turned off by the sight of hair. So for this one, there really isn't a recipe for how to get the visual excited. You have to really get to know them, get to know their taste and their aesthetic and try and play into that. The next turn on trigger, I must admit, I'm a little bit of this. This is the cat and the mouse. These are people who like the games. They're into the chase. And so if something is just thrown at them and given to them way too easy, it's kind of a turn off for them. For these individuals, they are in essence a lot like a cat. When you think about a house cat, you can't walk into its domain and start petting it right away or trying to get the cat to interact with you. The cat has to choose you. They have to find in their own time and energy that they are ready to come over to you and they will allow you to pet them versus you being the initiator. And so if you are with a cat and mouse kind of person, you gotta just set the mood. You gotta be uncomfortable with a little bit of tension. You gotta play into the tension. And if they don't bite that day, Try again tomorrow, but trying to force yourself on them is just never gonna be the wave. And the final turn on trigger, which I think is very important for us all to acknowledge and understand, is transactional. And transactional essentially means there's gotta be more than just sex on the table for them to wanna join the feast with you. Not everyone is crazy about physical connection. Not everyone is enticed by the idea of sex. Some people identify as asexual or gray sexual or demisexual sexual or just have a low libido in general. And for those individuals, the idea of sex in itself just isn't enough to sweeten the pot. They need something else that they actually prioritize also added into the mix of negotiations. They need for you to say, hey, like later on today, I just like really want to get down with you. I'll go get your car some gas. When I come back, do you think we might be able to? And then they might be open to actually doing that. They may want an active service, a financial offering, or they may require something else. Like for the next day, you're gonna prioritize what brings them pleasure in return. There has to be an even trade. And for them, physical and physical is just not it. And that is it. Those are the six turn on triggers. You know what comes next in the comment section below. Write what your turn on trigger is and why it's so you. And if you did not feel that you were represented amongst the six that were mentioned, please write it in the comment section below as well. These kind of conversations to me are so, so crucial. One of the quotes that we hear all the time is the key to successful relationships is communication. But what do we say? What kind of conversations do we have? And what should be the desired outcome? So having guided conversations like these that bring up very important things in structured ways, I think is a massive component to the building blocks of healthy, intimate connections. And that's all I want for you guys. And speaking of connections, Squarespace. <laughs>
Don't know how that worked, but it definitely does. Shout out to Squarespace once again for being the site that I chose to create my website on um, and for being a resource for me to communicate to all of you. That's the link, there we go. For being a resource for me to communicate to all of you uh, what important things I'm working on right now. With Squarespace, you can be rebranded in no time and you don't have to hand over a bunch of cash to a website designer. They have loads of easy to use templates and they are so customizable that making your website unique to you is simple and fun. Squarespace is the solution. It's a one-stop shop for your portfolio, online store, or really whatever you need. Need a domain? No worries, you can buy one directly through Squarespace. Already have a domain? No stress, transfer over your existing domain today. With Squarespace, it's never been easier to have an online presence by allowing you to manage your products, orders, and inventory in one spot. Squarespace also has you covered with standout email campaigns for your mailing list. They truly are the easiest and fastest way to launch your business today. So go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com ambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website.